Today we are looking at scheduling a meeting. Uh, so there's this new meeting option, but generally I don't use that for anything except testing stuff out. What we want to do here is go to the schedule button. And this gives us the option to schedule a meeting. So we call it something, uh, we give it a date, uh, so in this case, oh, maybe I want to go ahead in time, set up a meeting for tomorrow at 3. So I just tell it that, and I think it's going to be an hour. The end time doesn't matter too much. It goes till you stop it, uh, but just so you have an idea. Uh, this part's important, the meeting ID. Uh, you always want that on generate automatically. Uh, you'll actually note that I'm going to blur out this personal meeting ID in the video uh, because that can actually cause uh, uh, security issues. Uh, so you want to avoid uh, ever using the personal meeting ID. Uh, security, I usually have the passcode uh, default, but uh, it's going to give you a link that has that in it anyway. Uh, waiting room is a good security feature. The waiting room is when you let people in yourself as they join the meeting. Uh, if you're having a big meeting, it's good to have someone hosting it who isn't also like the main speaker. Uh, you can turn that off if you're not worried about it. Uh, you want to make sure video is set to on for everybody unless you have a reason not to. I usually do the calendar stuff separately, so I don't touch that. Advanced options. Uh, would be if you want to let people in when you're not around to host it, you want to mute them on entry, you want to automatically record. Uh, I actually never use any of those. Uh, I record in the meeting if I'm in the meeting. And that's sort of it. You hit save. It's going to pop up this window for you with a meeting invitation. If you copy it, then what you'll be able to do is paste it straight into an email. Uh, so here we are now in Gmail, and I had already copied uh, the invitation from Zoom, so then I just have to paste it in. Uh, you can, if you have a way to right-click, you can right-click and paste. That'll paste it in. Uh, alternatively, there's keyboard commands, so for example, command V on a Mac, control V on a PC, uh, Windows, or uh, you can go up to edit in your menu and paste generally in your web browser, and you get uh, this link that people will be able to click on to get into your meeting. Now, say you want to check out what other meetings you've got already, or you uh, need to send another invitation. If you go to meetings up here, uh, you will see all your meetings that you have set up. And that is the basics of scheduling meetings with Zoom. So today we covered schedule meeting and the options involved. We copied and pasted our meeting invitation and we checked out the meetings tab where you can see your schedule of meetings. Thanks for watching.